Whoo, lift it up and start reeling, you're fighting. Oh, you're good, yep. Today, I'm fishing in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm gonna be fishing with Jordan Bradley. He works for Wolfpack Adventures in Sheboygan. And today, he's taking me out pretty much right by the Summerfest grounds in Milwaukee. I'm really excited about this. We're fishing for brown trout. I've never caught a brown trout through the ice before. I've caught way too many brown trout to even count out on Lake Michigan. And I've caught some big ones. Um, maybe I'll run some pictures of some of the nicer ones that I've gotten or that my uh, clients have gotten over the course of the last several years. Um, but I'm really, really excited about this. I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. I fished a couple of times, maybe about 10, 12 years ago and uh, never had any luck with them. Um, but Jordan is pretty confident that today we're gonna get something. So I'm really excited about it. Let's get at it. All right, the man, Jordan Bradley, tell us about what we're doing today. So what we're using, kind of tips, tactics, things like that. We're down here in the Milwaukee um, Lagoon, actually, right behind Summerfest grounds. And today we're actually using some automatic fishermen. And we're also gonna be jigging for these fish. Um, you know, we're looking for some of those big browns towards the end of this laid ice here which you know it's gonna today's gonna be a little bit warmer from the past two weeks so should get these fish a little bit more active um, we're gonna be using some spawn sacks um, some shrimp and also some golden shiners shrimp huh yeah use shrimp, shrimp. Hmm. right from the store man really you, know, you need a little snack fresh on the ice. frozen does it matter or um no it really doesn't matter you know I go with just the plain Jane cook bag in the freezer at the uh, at Walmart. <laughs> Interesting. You know, not only do we like it, the fish like it. So perfect. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. But uh, we're kind of covering all depths. You know, bottom three feet. The shiner we got up a little bit higher. But a lot of times these fish are cruising uh, bottom, you know, a couple feet, and that's mm -hmm. kind of what we're targeting. So when you say all depths, like what's the what's the deepest that we have something set, and what's the shallowest? So right now we're covering from about eight to eight inches to about a foot off bottom, all the way up to about four feet off bottom. Um, we got and a lot. In how deep of water? In about uh, ten or twelve feet, twelve okay. to fourteen feet. Got um, it. We're actually. Oh, towards the basin out here in the lagoon, you got a little bit deeper, but as you come up towards the edges on the rocks, those fish will put, push the bait up on the rocks. We got a lot of our autos kind of covering along that shallower edge. Cool. So, cool, yeah. cool. And you, you mentioned autos. Um, we'll be jigging as well. Okay. Um, be jigging some little jigs and plastics. We'll, you know, go to some uh, spawn sacks and shrimp as well, but we'll also use some jigging spoons and some vibration baits. So we're going to awesome. mix it up today and try a whole bunch of different stuff and see what happens. Awesome. I'm excited about it. I hope you're excited. Me about too, it. buddy. Let's Here go get them. Yeah. <laughs> Lift it up and start reeling, you're fighting. Oh, you're good, yep. Woo! <laughs> oh, you're good. Kind of like a walleye, you kind of let him pull when he wants to pull. I'm sorry. Oh, you're okay. Woo, how's you feel, buddy? <laughs> this is awesome. The drag is not too loose? Nope, we're gonna let him run. Okay. You know, he's he's still green, so we're gonna kind of let him play it out. Okay, that's my... Woo! Woo! This is crazy. <laughs> Oh, I see him down there. Nice brown trout. Beautiful female. Oh, great. Wow. Beautiful male. That is awesome. Hey, come here, buddy. There we go. <laughs> that is cool. There you go, That's buddy. Slicker than snap. Beautiful brown. It's actually a book brown. Woohoo! Wow. Awesome job, man. So Jordan, that one you said hit on a peach colored uh, spawn sack. Does the color matter much? You'll tend to find that um, the color does matter at times. Okay. Um, well, on any given day, I'm assuming like one day they might like one thing, another day they might like something different. Some days it's pink, some days it's orange, some days it's uh, peach. Okay. So uh, and you want me to hook like through the knot or over? Yep. So start on this side, come right on underneath the knot, and then the hook should come out on the other side of the knot. So the knot should be like right in the middle of okay. the bend of oh. the hook. Just like oh, that. I hit a perfect hit an egg. That's fine. Oh, that's a little okay. bit of scent down there. Draw All right. in. Sounds good. Looks like that. We're headed down. This is the first time I'm setting an automatic fisherman. 
So he's kind of giving me a rundown of it here. I've seen tutorials online, but I'm just gonna do it here. So what I do is I I actually just loosen the drag up, okay, just like so, so that okay. you still got tension, and you can just pull it right out of the tip, right on through. Yep. Does this need to be? Uh, We're gonna put some juice in there. Okay. So we got some. Uh, this is kind of worn down, but ice stopper bobber juice that okay. goes in the ice stopper bobber, which this. Bob, uh, bobber, as you'll see once we get this set, will allow the line to run freely through the bobber itself. Okay. Instead of yep. having, if the line freeze in, the Does hole around it freezes in, but the line freely runs through. Got it. Okay. Now you can, there's your bait. Watch there's on your my... You might want oh, to come up I gotta a go bit. up a bit. Yep. It's kind of a little bit shallower here. This is actually six and a half feet, kind of oh, pushing okay. up on those rocks. Got it. And then. So if you come up is... to, there's actually a fish. Maybe He's following it. Okay. Yep. So go right about there. Right here. Perfect. Okay. Now you can set your drag. So kind of, you want to be able to, if you went like this, this is how I kind of do. It. If I went like this, that's perfect. You okay. Have bend Just the rod like that. Perfect. Right. Okay. And then I flip this. Yep. So take this trigger mechanism, hold it like this. What you're gonna do is actually take the rod tip and put it on that pin. Okay. Yep. Make sure it's down in there. Okay. Seems to be zip. Perfect. Maybe too hard now or? So now there's... what I do is to get it real sensitive is I actually take my finger and I'll actually put it on the top of the pin and I'll slide that uh, oh. tip up so I'm at very close to the tip of this pin. Great. So that's super sensitive. Now the last thing you got to do is just make sure you put the line across the trigger across mechanism. There. Got it. There you go. You set your first automatic fisherman. Excellent. Man. Sounds good. Thanks. What'd you make us for lunch? Um, we got some duck with our goose roll-ups. So, a little bit of uh, some goose from our last goose hunt. I'll throw the shout out to Caden for inviting me. Um, we actually marinated in a little soy sauce and brown sugar, wrapped it up with some cream cheese and bacon, and we fried it up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, why don't you dive in? All right. Ooh. You know, I think um, uh. it really, honestly, fishing is great. Eating out, you know, eating on the ice, I think is incredible. Like it's a completely different experience, right? You could have this anywhere, but when you're eating it on the ice, it's like, it just really hits the spot. So mm -hmm. warms you up a little bit, yeah, and, you know, exactly. top of it, you know what always happens? Usually yeah. a fish bites fill I your know, hands up. I know that feeling, bud. So, mm -hmm. yep, I'm going to dig in too. I'm going to grab one of these Ooh. things. Get in there. Oh. Mm. Down the hatch. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, easy prep time too. It took about three hours to marinate. That was the longest thing. It took me to roll them up ten minutes. Nice. Mm. Easy meal on the ice. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks very much for making them. Oh, no Seems problem. Seems like you really haven't sat down too much. You've been moving tip-ups or, or autos, I guess, and mm -hmm. kind of moving things around. You're working your butt off trying to get fish and just just uh, waiting them out. Yep. All right, well, it's about 1 o'clock, is it? 1.15 or so, yep. and we've had the one fish that we landed. Nice big uh, buck brown. You call them bucks? Bucks. The males yeah. are bucks. Yep. Got it. A big buck brown trout. Um, got a good clean release on it. And that was all the action we had so far. We're going to wrap it up and we're going to hit the Sheboygan River tomorrow and do a little bit of river fishing and we'll kind of talk with Jordan and the rest of the Wolfpack crew about what the differences are tomorrow. And uh, looking really, you know, really looking forward to that. So um, stay tuned till tomorrow. <laughs>